is asleep. It's the month of Ramadan and Muslims have to eat before sunrise. Latifa is preparing breakfast for her son Rashid and daughter-in-law Aisha. Croissant and porridge. Usually I get up first and prepare the breakfast and then I wake everybody up. Just to make it easier for them really. And it's a job I love doing, it's my pleasure to do it. So, uh, so when they wake up everything is actually ready on the table. This week we continue to follow some of Britain's most orthodox Muslims as they observe their holy month of fasting and prayer. Rashid, who goes to the Brixton Mosque, will shortly be flying to Saudi Arabia to take up a new job as a teacher. Abdul Haq Baker will be looking after him. Abdul Haq said that he's going to book the ticket for Tuesday uh, and then uh, he will confirm it on Tuesday as soon as he gets the news that he's actually got his visa, that everything went all right. So exciting. In Luton, Yasmin's mother tells of her reaction to her daughter's conversion. I think some people need a religion and some people don't. And I'm one that doesn't and Kim's obviously one that does. <laughs> and the jinn, created from fire. I don't see them, they're everywhere. We believe the jinn inhabit this earth as we inhabit the earth. Breakfast is ready. Time to wake Aisha and Rashid. Are they difficult to rouse? No, not usually, no. Uh, usually two or three knocks is enough. So it's, yeah. They look forward to getting up as well because they've got breakfast on the table. Muslims are expected to pray five times a day. The first prayer, Fajr, is at dawn. In Ramadan, the day ends with an extended time of prayer and readings from the Quran. Hussein is running late to get to the mosque. How's Ramadan going for him? It's going along beautifully.